Welcome back. You're still tuned into Trading Hour on CNBC TV 18. And let's straight away get you a word from the insurance regulator now. Speaking to CNBC TV 18, Chairman Debashish Panda said that opening up of the distribution network in the sector will give more options to policyholders. He also spoke about the licenses and changes in insolvency norms. So let's listen into that conversation. Confident now that a fresh consultation paper is out, that you'll be able to take the final inputs in the next board meeting. And uh, by when do you see them turning into regulations? See, it should be now, see the first set of regulations which had come out, mm. again was based on uh, the inputs from the working groups, then a series of consultations happened. We received comments from uh, various quarters. We had meetings with uh, the stakeholders. And thereafter, a number of inputs uh, that came to us, we examined that uh, in greater depth and uh, tried to figure out what should be the ideal uh, you know, uh, prescription, or I wouldn't call it prescription, the framework uh, that should be uh, put in place for the smooth conduct of business as far as the industry is concerned. Uh, along with that, we also looked at the commission uh, structure also. Uh, the commission regulations Correct. because that also goes more or less hand in hand with that. Yeah. So uh, the commission regulation also was, uh, uh, you know, in the first place uh, there were some tweakings done in terms of the segmental caps, somewhere it was reduced, somewhere it was enhanced. Uh, so there were some inputs from the uh, different uh, stakeholders, uh, whether they were agents or, uh, uh, you know, the other intermediaries. So we factored all of them. Mm. And uh, after a factoring all of them, a new formulation has been uh, brought so that the original regulation has undergone a drastic change. Correct. So it was felt that before we uh, give, get the final approval of the authority, it is better to put up an exposure draft uh, so that uh, the, 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 the new exposure draft again for the comments. Correct. And uh, if need be, we will definitely again uh, meet the stakeholders to address their concerns if they have any. Hopefully, I believe that this should uh, be, uh, you know, quite acceptable to everyone because everyone's interests are being taken care of. In the last two months, we've seen uh, a lot of GST investigation on insurance companies, almost all I general have, insurance see, companies. Let, 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 me, let me interrupt you. Just here. want to ask you, do you think EOM as a thing was misused by the industry so far in the I, past? I will not venture into that because I have not gone into those details. That is the GST matter. So the GST authorities would be able to tell you. Directly linked to EOM however, and the misuse However, there. However, the, uh, the IRDA is asking the insurance companies to submit the details of what is appearing in the media. Mm. So that is where it is. Now you've allowed uh, banks to tie up with nine life, nine general, nine standalone health insurance companies. Uh, the input somewhere that we've been getting is that this won't move the needle significantly, but what will would be if some of the large banks at least attempt the limit of three. No, there is no decision. That's why we opened it up further, so that the policyholders get wider offerings, wider choices. So now we have opened it up. So it will be the market which will decide now. So therefore, uh, the question of whether it will happen or not or happen, it will be the question of time. Mm. And automatically, when they see value in it and having more offerings, when people will go and ask, what is your offering? You'll say, no, I have only two or three or one. You'll say, you don't have a choice. So why should I buy from you? Not a mandate, but if an advice has to come from the regulator, would you ask these large banks to at least go till three from one right now? I'm sure that they will all see reason in why it has been opened up during the stakeholders' consultation also uh, this came up and many of these corporate agents and insurance companies were, they received this uh, idea very well mm. and so that's why it has now been amended in the regulation. So as we go forward, we'll see how it uh, unfolds. On the reinsurance side uh, as well, another thing which is obligatory premium which today, last year was reduced from 5% to 4% going to GICRE on every general insurance policy. GI companies, general insurance companies have asked you to remove this entire 4% in one go. Uh, April, I think next year is when the revision again happens. Uh, are you in favor of having this understanding that GIC RE is mature enough, now it doesn't require that obligatory premium and it should be removed? See, there is a committee which the government appoints uh, every year mm. uh, to recommend on this. So the government had appointed a committee 
the committee has given its recommendations and we have sent the recommendations to the government endorsing the committee's recommendations and now it's the call of the government which is to removal decide. of the obligatory yeah payment. they have said that the obligatory uh, session should be reduced to zero that's one of the big interviews of the day we need to slip into a very short break up next we'll discuss a whole host of companies that are on our radar on the back of fresh brokerage notes all those details lined